Welcome back to the deck project. It's mid morning on Monday and uh, we've made some pretty decent progress. So Owen got this whole end here all buttoned up and squared off nicely. We still got, still got to adjust a couple things. Gonna scooch that block a little bit to get the post centered on it better. Uh, and still of course need to add a post there. But I got the stairs prepped, had to modify stringers a little bit and then just temporarily screwed down some deck scraps so that we can get up and down a little bit faster. But we are uh, switching gears and getting going on prepping for the roof. Cause we got roofers coming on Wednesday. So we got to get this thing put up. Just temporarily screwed down some more OSB here as well, just for safety. And so we can walk out on here. <clears throat> and Owen's wrapping up the deck boards here. But we are about to, we're gonna pull off some siding across the top here. And then we're also gonna basically disassemble this whole bottom of this roof line right here. The soffit, the gutter, the rafter tails, everything right there is gonna be getting cut back to, to make room for our new roof that's going on. And we'll actually end up continuing this wall surface up where it dies into our new roof up there. So I'm going to, uh, start working on that and we'll be uh, rocking and rolling on that roof structure before too terribly long. All right, quick end of day update. So we got most of the demo done up there. The truss tails cut back and a little bit more siding to pull off, but then we also cut back the We'll finish the decking, cut it back to its proper spot. So all the wood decking minus that little corner over there that we still gotta do is done. And then I just actually went ahead and screwed down the first of the new TimberTech AZEC deck boards that'll be going down. And that's just partially because we're gonna be setting posts along this line tomorrow morning for, uh, for the roof structure. And they're going to be just a little bit sitting on top of this board. So wanted to have that down in place uh, before we started trying to set posts there. So that's about it for the day. Uh, we've got a little bit more to do, but pretty much wrapping up. And tomorrow we should have a, a whole roof structure going up and being completed. Because like I think I said earlier, we got roofers coming on Wednesday. So we got to have it done. But see you guys in the morning. All right. Tuesday morning, we're getting ready to put this beam up. So you got OSB down. This is our roof sheathing, but we just got it down temporarily to protect the decking surface and to get it out of the way because it was on the top of the stack. But we have, uh, we got our posts up and blocked, braced off on both sides, set our beam on top of, and we just spiked the beam together. So we are ready to set it up there on top of those posts and then we will put the ledger up and we'll start setting rafters.
right end of the day Tuesday we got the other post in here in the center and everything is backfilled with the exception of these two holes here and we got some decking up here not screwed down yet except for this stuff is all screwed down and we started plugging the holes but we got most of it up here and we have a roof so we've got the roofers are coming tomorrow they came and dropped off all the materials a couple hours ago and uh so they'll get this thing all closed up we won't start on any of the trim out of any of this stuff until we have our framing inspection but so tomorrow we'll be working on decking and railings and some of that kind of stuff we're going to i'm going to go buy some more hardboard to put down over this deck surface right here because i don't want stuff sliding off that roof and landing right under decking same reason we are not actually going to start on any of the finished materials on the stairs they're not directly underneath the roof but it's close enough that i don't want to risk something falling off that roof and landing on anything down here which would be harder to protect uh, this will be pretty easy to protect we can just lay some hardboard over top of it and we need some more anyway because like i think i mentioned in the last video we have i've got two more deck jobs coming after this one so that's something we're trying to make sure we take precautions to protect the these deck boards after we put them down while we're working on top of them doing railings or in this case we've got a whole lot of stuff to do we've of course got to trim this out we got to do screen you know screening all around it so a lot a lot more to do on this surface so we got to protect these boards while we're working over top of them so that's it for today back tomorrow wednesday morning got my coffee <sighs> fueled up ready to go so we are gonna keep rocking and rolling here we are we have our laser set up to measure for the height of the two posts that are going right there because we are extending we're making another beam it'll go across right there support the screen and our little gable end wall over there so i got owen working on that and then we just plugged and covered up this first section of deck boards that emma got installed yesterday and i am gonna keep on installing these while owen's working on the posts and i'll show you a little bit more in depth how those work later but i'm just going to set up and well i'll have the gopro running so you'll see a little time lapse of that going down but we'll get a little more in depth with how those install uh in a few minutes after after i get some more down Got all the decking, the next set of it all screwed down. So it's just using this the Azek Cortex system with these composite uh, threaded screws, or reverse threaded screws. And the uh, and the tip of the bit has a felt pad on it because you have to countersink them, and that prevents damage to the surface of the deck board. And then the plugs come on these collated strips. And you can see all the different patterns of grain detail in each plug. <clears throat> so if we had boards that had less uh, grain character on them, you'd be able to just tap them in pretty quickly. But I prefer to actually identify the plug that looks like it was cut out of that hole. So, and, uh, you know, really make them disappear. So hopefully you can see, see on camera how how precise I'm trying to be how precise I'm trying to be with these plugs I almost can't even where is that one there's a oh yeah there it is so you almost can't even see that one like that's how detailed I'm trying to be with these and of course I've got the camera literally an inch off the deck board and that's how that's how good they are so come back a foot can't even see them that's the goal make them invisible and of course from standing or anything they'll they'll 
disappear entirely. It's a really cool system. This for this way is slightly slower than if you watch the previous deck series from a couple months ago. The the clip system, tongue and groove deck boards that we shoot in with a clip fastener. So it goes a little bit quicker, but I think this is a slightly more solid application. It's also way easier to, if something ever happens to one of these boards, it's gonna be way easier to pull one board individually and replace it than it would be with the other system. So, just little things. I don't know, if we're not always gonna do every deck like this, but these boards, this color of this specific board did not come in the groove version, so Cortexin or face screwing was our, our only option, so that's what we're doing. Uh, but we're we're cooking along. It's mid morning now. This is somewhat time intensive doing all this stuff. So <laughs> I'm just sitting sitting down, grinding through all these plugs, and Owen's still making progress on other stuff inside the roof. So I'll check back in later. All right, quick Friday lunchtime check-in. It's been a busy morning here and a little bit rainy, but we got our new uh, new black ladder rain gear in so staying nice and dry we had the electricians out this morning and they ran some wires for us we're gonna have a tv mounted on this post right here later on down the road so they've got some wire up there for us to, to drop down later on we're gonna have a ceiling fan light combo up there and we've got there will be a motion fixture out here on the side of the house and we added a receptacle on this post because that is their electric smoker down there and they need somewhere to plug it in up here. And you can't see it, but the roofers did finally come. Uh, they came and did the ice shield on the roof yesterday afternoon, very late in the day. And then another crew showed up this morning and they went ahead and shingled it. So I'll throw the drone up in a little bit towards the end of the day and you'll see that. But. We're just up here cruising on other stuff. Owen got the gable wall up there framed in. We've added our other posts. So our door opening is gonna be right here in this space. And then Emma and myself have been trimming out the deck surface. And we're getting ready to start dropping some posts in and work towards doing some railing stuff probably before the end of the day. So. It's uh it's coming together.
end of day Thursday. We are done for the week. So we did, uh, you'll have to pardon the wind. It's been kind of crazy windy here all day. We were getting tornado warnings on our phones earlier for this area, so I don't know if there actually was any or not, but it was freaking windy. Rain gear held up awesome though. That was, that was, uh, that came in clutch today. Uh, we finished up the whole perimeter here. Everything's down and plugged. And as you saw in the GoPro time lapse, we got started on some railings as well. So this is the same system that we've always done on these decks, but the first time we've ever mixed black balusters with white everything else. I've done all black railings and I've done lots of all white railings, but this is the first time I've ever mixed them like this. And I think it looks really good. You get that accent look. We've done, they make them and they make aluminum, round aluminum balusters as well for this system. They're three quarters of an inch in diameter, I think. And they look super clean also, but this gives you the same, same look, but you know, you get the square round, more standard looking balusters. If that's the look we're going for, which clearly they were. So the, we got the canopy all up and tied down. So that was really nice to have up here. And it stood up well to the winds with how we have it all uh, tied off everywhere. So I'm very confident leaving it over the weekend that it won't fly off the deck. We may or may not have had one do that a few years ago. Came, uh, came back either the next day or the next Monday and it was upside down, down the hill and bent to crap and trashed. So, and that was with railings. Like picture, it was a situation like this where it, it was uh, it was actually almost the exact same size deck. We had, this was actually, it was up against the house. So picture this being house. So no wind is like passing through here. And then it was right up against fully installed railings. And somehow it went up and over the railing and down the hill like that. It was, uh, it was pretty wild. So, but I'm very confident that won't happen to this one, so. But we are, uh, we're gonna wrap up for the day. I'll go ahead and throw the drone up for a second because I haven't had it up since, I don't know, a few days ago. And so I'll send you guys out for the week on a little drone montage. Hopefully this video ended up being a little bit shorter than the last one. The last one, week one, ended up being a, a much longer video than I anticipated. But I didn't wanna shortchange you guys on you know any of the stuff we were doing. So hopefully you, Hopefully if you're watching this part, then you you enjoyed the length and, uh, or you enjoyed part one, despite the, the length. And yeah, I, I got nothing else. Uh, I'm gonna throw the drone up and see if I can get some decent footage in this wind and uh, drop us uh, drop me a like or a comment or whatever. Uh, happy to answer them. Follow us on Instagram and see you guys back next week.